What's up, 805? This is Bill Losey in Studio 805 for the Ventura County Star as Dodger baseball winds down to a single-digit number of games that are left. The Dodgers no win. Two words, Brett Tomko. Not, not only did he lose 12 games, but he just won one for the stinking Padres. Dodger GM Net Coletti, who may in fact be a spy for the stinking Giants, how could you sign a stiff like that in the first place and then keep him so long? And you still have Hendrickson and Hernandez. My cat, nope, can pitch better than those two. In happier news, OJ in jail as a UCLA grad. Yay. Also, when does basketball start? The Bruin football team stinks underwater, and head coach Carl Durrell is in way over his head. What happened to the defense was it, that was going to beat USC again this year? Yeah, right. So when does basketball season start? Ben Hallen knows one thing, defense. OK, enough mindless exposition about men playing kids' games. Here's equally endless, mindless, and senseless news of importance, rock and roll. That would explain my presence here in the lap of luxury right here in Studio 805. This is Bill Losey to talk about music, yep, the live variety, the sort that demands you going somewhere further than the CD player, and to that end, if I had a faster car, a richer girlfriend, or even one with a job that does not entail working me, here's where I may in fact be lurking in the back tonight, Thursday, September the 20th. Lots of good stuff tonight. Ike Riley and his full band will be at Spaceland in L.A. tonight. The new one is the dopey titled We Belong to the Staggering Evening. Huh? Solid meat and potatoes rock and roll all the way from Chicago and one of the best albums of the year. Riley is the coolest Ike since Turner and has more hair than Eisenhower. Ike Riley knows what a great song should sound like. He's awesome. Would I lie to you? <clears throat> of course I would, but not this time. Also, I know nothing about them except for their cool name, Planes and Mistaken for Stars. They'll be at the Knitting Factory in Hollywood also tonight. And it's jam band Groove Rock from the Super Suckers at the Key Club also in Hollywood. And at the Hollywood Bowl, it's one of the best bands that played at Coachella this year, Arcade Fire with LCD sound system opening. Almost in the 805, it's guitar god Pyrotechnics from Eric Johnson who will be leaving guitar fans wondering how he did all that stuff at the Cavernous Canyon Club in Agoura Hills tonight. And Jam and Joe Pecan will play Rage and Cajun and Rock and Blues at the Spectrum and Farmland Hating Oxnard where the City Council seems to be on a mission to bring Orange County to the 805 right here, right now. And finally, it's a reggae party with the legalizers at Wine Lovers and Venture also tonight, Thursday night. So that's that, and now this, Rock and Roll Call, the record waiting service of cyberspace, designed to either save you or cost you some of your hard-earned George Washingtons. First up is Isley, their new one combinations, and it's on Bugs Bunny's old label, Reprise. Isley could easily be called Dupree since that's everybody's name, their last name, proving once again that nepotism rocks. There's three sisters, a brother, and a cousin. Hmm, let's see, three hot chicks that can harmonize most heavenly? Yeah, that might work. They're all still young, so they'll get better. The voices are fine. The songwriting, not quite there yet, but there's some good stuff here, like Sight to Behold. Seen them a couple of times, interviewed them once, did not buy a shirt, however. Next up are the Magic Numbers. It's their second helping of pure pop rock and another dopey album title, and I'm reading this, Those the Brokes. It's on Astral Works with a W-E-R-K-S, originally released in 06 in the UK, but early this year here is doing fine, so they're still working it. It's easy to hear why. The magic in question here is two pairs of brothers and sisters harmonizing in a happening manner on these simple folk tunes that sound like they fell off the boat from the original British invasion from 1965 but just washed ashore 40 years later. If you're wearing a Slayer shirt, this will work for you about as well as the day at the beach does for Dracula. The two singles, This Is a Song and Take a Chance, were well chosen. Nothing to change your life. And there's probably not a lot of bikers running around with magic number tattoos, but for what it is, sweet, simple songs, they're fine. Good for a smirk and a shrug or two. Then there's the nodes of Ranveer. Time to smarten you up for a moment. And just in case anyone should ask you, these nodes are the regu regularly spaced gaps around nerve fibers that allow electrical currents to do what they do all over your body. Now, on the other hand, there's the nodes of Ranveer, the band, whose new one is called Defined by struggle on George Bush's favorite label, Victory Records. Okay, imagine Arnold giving the predator a hot foot, causing all his nerve endings on a molecular level to grow rubber tip claws just so he can do this. Therefore, no shrugs, no smirks, just no, maybe even a hell no. All right then, enough music news and views. This is Bill Losey right here in Studio 805 for the Ventura County Star saying, save the top hat, save yourselves. Go see some live music after the Dodger game, of course. And remember, if no one tells you how to act, 
then how are you going to be?